All right, kid, you asked what you want for basic tools. This is a half inch dual hammer pneumatic impact gun. Single hammer isn't gonna get it. You gotta have something with some balls in it or don't bite it all. Next up, this here, you know, this will tell you, you know, you, you inflate tires with this. Half a pull on trigger lets air out, full pull puts air in. So wrenches, metric or your go-to, you still have older cars that use standard. When you're doing your oil changes, there's only about five different size wrenches you're going to need. 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Uh, obviously you want a set of screwdrivers, handful of different types of pliers. You definitely want a filter plier like this. And then you're going to want this kit here made by Lyle Tool. There's the part number, 13300. These are specialty sockets for cartridge style oil filters. These are the only five sizes you're really going to need for cartridge filters other than Toyota. Over here, you got a flashlight, get a good bright one. This is a tire tread depth gauge. Let me demonstrate real quick. Come over here to your tire, push this all the way down, set this against the tire like that and push until the shoulder is up against the rubber, okay? Right in that groove. Then you look at your, your gauge and find what number lines up. Okay, 730 seconds. That's still acceptable. Notice the they turn color, yellow is okay, 430 second, red is 230 second, 130 second, and zero, which is no good. So green is where you want to be on tires. These are those flip sockets I sent you a picture of. There's a set of three, you get them at Hazard Freight for you know a few bucks. Here's a 17 and, well, the number's worn off, but it's a socket on both ends. Two different sizes there, two different sizes there. It comes with a three inch extension for your half inch impact gun. So all you gotta do is just you know, take it off, flip it over, put it back on, you're back in business. Here's a hammer. And then here's a soft face hammer. These come in handy when you're doing like uh, old school cars have the big metal hubcaps. You need to be able to put them back on. This one here being that it's plastic isn't going to uh, mar the finish. Don't worry, you don't need snap on right off the rip. You can go straight to Harbor Freight and get something like these. That's fine. Hammers come in handy for a lot of different shit. Anyways, uh, the basic... Uh, they call it a master tool kit by Quinn. It's like 500 pieces. You're going to have standard and metric wrenches, a set of screwdrivers, uh, sockets and ratchets and from quarter inch drive to three eighths drive to half inch drive. Whenever you buy a socket, make sure it's six point, okay? 12 points. All it's going to do is round them off and you're going to piss a lot of people off with those. Especially me, if I have to come after your work to clean up after you. So that's that. Now remember that video I sent you before, you know, when I had my red cart. Well, I've upgraded to a black one, but, you know, just all these sockets are all, you can get these in kits, just like I told you there. Uh, you don't have to have everything right off the rip, but that red cart that I showed you in the first video would be an ideal setup. Start simple, you know, you don't have to have all the kick-ass brand name shit, but... Let me tell you right off the bat, do not buy the electric impact from Harbor Freight. It is junk. Uh, <coughs> if you do want to get into an entry-level electric impact, I would just go right to Milwaukee. Another tool that you want to have in your arsenal is going to be this. These are called Torx bits, okay? These go on either a three-eighths or a half-inch or quarter-inch ratchet, depending on the size. They kind of look like a little asterisk on the end, okay? It's not like your six-sided socket you have for regular nuts and bolts. Uh, GM likes to use, uh, I want to say it's a T40 uh, on their drain plugs now. So having those, you know work to your advantage uh get you a set of picks 
Um, my favorite, my go-to is this 90 degree pick. On the cartridge style filters, you're gonna to wanna to use this and you can you know, peel the O-ring seal off to replace it with a new one. Uh, these are just little Torx bits here. I got these, you know, just because I do headlights and stuff like that. And sometimes you just can't get a ratchet in there, whatever. Um, well, the screwdriver set, you know, I took a few of them out to show you in the video, but whatever. Uh, yeah. So there's that, you know, your common size wrenches that you're going to want under the hood for doing batteries is going to be eight millimeter and 10 millimeter for the battery terminals. You're going to want a six inch extension on a three eighths ratchet. So here's a six inch extension. Okay. Then you throw a 13 millimeter deep well socket on the end of that with your ratchet. And that'll get about 80% of your battery hold downs if they're like the wedge style. Otherwise, your 10 millimeter socket will get, you know, most of the rest. Uh, yeah, so that, that covers your basic shit you need for doing, you know, quick lubes and tire rotation. You know, six-sided sockets, impact gun. The only thing I would recommend getting is a good torque wrench. Once you get your lug nuts jammed on, drop the car down on the ground, take your socket, put it on a torque wrench, and give her a couple clicks. I would prefer to see you get a full set of impact sockets rather than the chromes. Then you can start using them on impact guns and not have to worry about them exploding. The uh, other uh, advantage to that is, you know, here's a 19 millimeter, which is on like... 99% of the cars on the road, you can see I use this one all the fucking time, you, uh, you lose torque when you put an extension on. So eventually you just get a set of these and you know, put your six side, you know, your, uh, your flip sockets to the wayside, but you don't want to put an extension on a torque wrench if you can help it, because you do lose a little bit of torque. Uh, that being said, they do also manufacture what's known as a torque limiting extension or a torque stick, if you will. Uh, a lot of quick lube places and stuff like that will use those when you're putting wheels back on. So your impact gun automatically stops at a preset torque. Torque wrenches are easy to come by. Some of them are, you know, more expensive than others. This is a very basic one. Uh, this one is by Snap-on, but you can get them at uh, Harbor Freight, Ace Hardware, and all them places too. This is known as a dual beam style one. It only works in forward. So if you got reverse thread bolts, you're screwed. But you got a dial right here. Focus, you fuck. Uh, you can see right now I've got it set to 125 foot pounds. And you, know, you put your wheel on, give her a couple of clicks with this to make sure it's you know, in spec. Your dealership will tell you or should be able to provide you with information based on the vehicle you're working on. You know, okay, the Ford Taurus is 100 foot pounds. The F-150 might be 150 foot pounds. But that's all shit you could, you'll, you'll learn on the fly there. Uh, toolboxes, you know, like you, you saw my cart. You don't have to go and buy like the fancy nice new shit right off the rip. You, know, you go on Facebook Marketplace, some dude's going to have one for sale for a couple hundred bucks. It might not be the color you like, or it might have some stickers and some scratches already on it. Just use a heat gun, get rid of your damn stickers. Who cares about the scratches? You're just getting started. You don't have to have nice Gucci shit right off the bat. I mean, my new cart isn't even fucking new. It's new to me. I bought it used. But it's bigger than the red one. And it's not even the same brand. Do I care? No, it's just a warm, dry place for my tools. Uh, that said, you know, pay attention to the toolboxes too. Like, if you look at like the Craftsman toolboxes at like Ace Hardware now, grab a hold of the, the drawer and give it a pull. If it feels sloppy and wiggly, you probably don't want it. You know, these, you know, you can tell they're pretty well built, nice thick steel. If you could actually kind of flex the steel with your thumb and forefingers, it's junk. Uh, 
We've already cons- we've already talked about your safety shoes. You ordered a set of them Skechers that I sent you. You know, the same ones that I'm wearing today. Well, mine are actually steel toe, but whatever. Uh, good on you for that, you know. Until you get assigned work uniforms, just get you a set of Dickies pants and a Dickies shirt. Dark colors to hide stains. You're golden. If you get some stains in some of your clothes, get one of those fingernail brushes from the grocery store. Some Dawn dish soap. You could pre-treat with that, scrub it out, and then throw it in the wash with the rest of your shit. Just don't ever put your work clothes in with your freaking, you know, going out on the town clothes. Uh, yeah, so if you have any questions and something I didn't answer either now or in any of my videos on YouTube, you know how to find me. I'm on, I'm on the uh, Facey Space. I'm on the, I'm on the Grams. And I'm also on Xbox like all the fucking time. See ya.